Welcome to the Pipe and Tobacco Talk podcast. It's episode 33. And our ever so gracious sponsor, MBSD Pipes, carries on in that spectacular tradition. And Tim will now read you our Prop 69 warning. Tim? All right. Well, this is your warning, your final warning. This podcast will expose the listener to offensive, insensitive, off-putting, and otherwise socially unacceptable content known to the state of California to cause cancer. To avoid injury, the sponsors of this podcast suggest you turn it off or grow a pair. That away, Tim. Thank you to MBSD Pipes for sponsoring our intro and continuing to supply us with a great supply of pipes and giveaway stuff we're just truly thankful for that and before we get to our our guest and stacy before i get to you pronounce your last name for me it's uh mayhurin mayhurin so like yeah okay right. I, thank you I, I, i've been butchering it for months now because we've been to every episode i go through who's coming up and i called it maharin which is mm, no not at all. You know, Not... It's better than the underwriter for my mortgage. He <laughs> called to check and he's like, hey, can I speak to uh, Stacy, my heroine? I was like, what? <laughs> yeah. No, it's close, you know. I mean, <laughs> close. close, but no yeah. syringe. Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Excellent. So coming up, we're going to have an interview with Stacy. Uh, next week, we are going to connect with Simon from LCS Briars. Uh, and I have a tragic, tragic tale of woe uh, regarding Simon and a pipe I have from him. Uh, the following week, we'll have Mark Berg from <laughs> Berg Handmade Pipes, Neil Monet from Garage Made Pipe Tools, uh, Mark Dominguez from Lone Star Briars, and Ian Fisher. And then we're going to try to get the guests that we uh, kind of missed because we just didn't record for a couple of weeks. So we'll get Rob Dickey yeah. on. We'll get... Uh, uh, Jack Ryan on, and we'll get Corey Brown on. So, excellent. On account of we was busy. And and Tim, you know what today is, don't you? It is our... It is uh, 300th subscriber. That's right. I tell right. you what, we are off like a bullet with this uh, this podcast. Uh, it, it's, it's remarkable, and we can't thank you guys enough. In fact, we even got an email from uh, Chris Hellams, uh, on Friday saying, hey, I was just going to email you guys uh, because we haven't seen a podcast in a couple of weeks. And where are you? And it was a very nice email. And thank you, Chris. We appreciate that. We appreciate you anxiously awaiting our typical hour and a half of nonsense that we create once a week. And we're back. We're back in the saddle. So I'm looking. It's actually the number. The actual number is 312. We're on 312. YouTube. Really? Look at us. 312, just, yeah. 312 yep. subscribers. Thank you so much. Like I, a rocket. Yeah, and and we ha we have 179 subscribers on uh Spotify and I believe it's 170 178 on Apple. So we appreciate the, you know, all of the family members that have uh clicked the follow us on both right. of those. <laughs> I didn't know I had that many family members, but apparently, you know, when you get 8 or 9 email accounts, you can you can seem like you're really bumping the numbers up. So Right. Excellent. Yep. So uh, after we do our interview with Stacy, we're going to talk about, uh, we're, we're going to go through the submissions uh, for the 300th contest. We have a pipe from Tim. We have a pipe from MBSD Pipes. And we have, well, it looks like this is going to uh, be the surgical. It looks like this is going to be the surgical option. So um, yeah. I'm not quite sure. Um There'll be three winners. We'll figure it out. So, But I haven't been able to blend anything for four weeks. Nothing. And Oof. my son, who's been working, normally my, my free time to blend is on the weekends. And sometimes I can get it, you know, in the afternoons when I get off work. But I haven't been home from work in a reasonable time at any day in the last two weeks. And then Saturday and Sunday, my son's been working. So uh, zero blending done for now going on four weeks. And I am terribly, terribly sorry that I am old and shit is falling off of me so is what it is yeah and are, are you right-handed or left-handed i am left-handed however well that's use good the, yeah to use the new presses you have to have both hands 
and yeah. and because of the elbow issue, I can't even like snug it up in my elbow uh, to fix it. But the the my two smaller fingers, the pinky finger and the one next to it, are still numb. It's been five weeks now, and they're like, mm, "We're going to slice that open for you." I, I really don't want that at all. Isn't Denver one of the places that has like you know thousands and thousands of migrants? Yeah, yeah, we sure are. In fact, Tim, they have a beautiful encampment right outside my work. It's spectacular. Well, you I've know, never go seen... get you one. Go get For you what? one. For just, what? Just you know, like, hey. Oh yeah. Tell him to hold this. Hey, honey, I'm bringing home a homeless guy to help me with blending. Hope you don't mind. <laughs> Tell him to. He's gonna. Yeah, he's gonna stay in the extra bedroom. What a classic idea, Tim. I'll let her know that you have sponsored this idea. <laughs> hey, I'm the idea guy. <laughs> yeah well you know, and i have my son downstairs but he's just been busy the last couple of weekends uh, and, and he talks about computer stuff and i i i never feel more lost in conversations than my when my son talks to me about it stuff oh dad i had to put yeah. in these uh, mirror systems and we had to put these separate drives i uh, whatever okay cool. Eesh. i have no idea what yeah. any of that means but it sounds fun glad you enjoy it no it doesn't no, no, doesn't, it doesn't sound fun at all. No, 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 no idea. Uh, and yeah, yeah. And, and we had to put in the, the Fleamer and the two Dweebers and a Moxie Cotton. Uh, cool. Did it hurt? I mean, <laughs> sounds like medication. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. You know, it's like, yeah. oh, and what did Alex tell you? He's taking OxyContin at work. So he's a lot more relaxed than he normally is. So that's good. Right, right. So, so let's get to our, our wonderful guest. And by the way, uh, she just posted on Instagram not an hour ago a left-handed journal. And as someone is left-handed, thank you. We will be discussing one of those uh, after the show or uh, in, in a chat. And uh, Stacy and I both participated in the Pipes Pours and Pals Football League. Um, yeah, we where... did. <laughs> and Stacy. Oh, not good at all. No, terrible. <laughs> I, I believe the t term that you're looking for, Tim, is DFL. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, Stacy, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for joining us. Isn't that cool? There it is. Oh. Tim, Tim is we holding have that here right now to work on stuff because I can't not oh, do something with my hands. Yep. Uh, it's, uh, I think it was when we did the interview with Caleb. He talks, I work with my mind all day, and someone told me I have to work with my hands when I'm off. And boy, do I agree with that completely. Yeah, that makes sense. Yep. So, Tim, we need to start talking over each other so we can give Caleb his daily dose of anxiety. Let's, yeah, let's uh, do that. Let's do that. <laughs> okay, Stacy, just start okay, talking. Okay, so anyway. Yeah, I just got a start question, talking Stacey. with us, and, and, we'll just, <laughs> and we'll watch Caleb lay on the floor and twitch. And Caleb was also in our, our football league as well. Uh, but anyway, welcome to the show. Tell us Thank how you. you got started in leather crafting and creating these magical, magical leather creations. Yeah, uh, so I kind of got like the bug in me to, to start leather working. One of my um, good friends was doing it and he offered to mentor me. Um, but I thought I would start with... Um, restoring axes and sharpening axes and because I was very much into camping and I mean I still am but that's that's a different story um unfortunately I was sharpening some axes and I had one kick back at me and break my finger so that gave me the I'm like well like I told my wife I'm like I, I can't woodwork anymore what am I gonna do I can let her work though and so then I was she just told me though that if I'm taking on another hobby I have to make that pay for itself okay and there you go. So another accident involving electrical equipment, Tim. We're both familiar with that. Never happened to me before. No. Oh, See? oh! I, I believe this is the portion of the show where Three Finger Brown comes out and goes, liar, liar, pants on fire, Tim. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, excellent. So yep. tell us about some of the things you create regularly and tell us about some of the things you're working on. Yeah. Um, so more more often than not, I am making um, pipe trays. Um, I've recently gone in, into making a lot of pipe socks for different pipe makers. Um, and the 
pipe rests that I make. I make sure that they have a little cigar hold or two, since a lot of pipe smokers enjoy a stick every once in a while. And it, that way people it, can have a little bit of both. In fact, I <laughs> believe you make a uh, pipe. And here, I'll bring mine out. The pipes, pours, and pals. Look at that. Right there. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's from the Fantasy Football League. Yep. And I love uh -huh. the logo, by the way. Uh, for those of you that... watching on YouTube. Oh, the, my. Uh... Yeah, thank you. I thought you were talking about the, the Fantasy Football one. Um, yeah, and mm -hmm. next, what I'm working on is um, some bags. I'm also going to be making some, like, key key holders that have pipes on it, um, you know, with my laser engraver and everything. So it's kind of what's on the, the horizon as I prepare for Columbus, I'm trying to get some fun projects in there too. And so you, the, uh, I noticed your, <laughs> my turn, it's your, uh, your laser engraver. Mm -hmm. um, how long have you had that? And, and uh, t tell us about that and what you, uh, what you went through to determine which model you were going to get and, uh, yeah. Um, well, at the time I was working at a nonprofit, and um, it was uh, <laughs> it, it did not pay very well. Um, so I was on a pretty good budget. <laughs> <laughs> so that that was like the biggest consideration. Um, mm -hmm. And I got an Ortur um, Laser Master Two. Um, it seemed like the best bang for the dollar. It was like six hundred bucks, which isn't bad. And right. It does okay. I'm looking to to upgrade to something that does the centering itself. Because for all of those, like all the things that I make with the laser engraver, I have to center it myself. So, like uh, with the Briar Fellowship, how I did the um, the pipe rests for him that had the engraved tree on the snaps, I had to position each and every single one of those snaps to get that lined up as perfectly as I could get it, and you know, human error and everything. Probably takes mm. forever for the blisters on your fingers to go away too, huh? <laughs> I haven't burned myself yet. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All uh, right. Well, I, I just you know the the uh, the product is nice though. The, the you know the uh, looking at some of the uh, logos and that sort of thing that you're able to put on the leather with that, it came out very nice. Thank you. Yeah. I like the customization yeah. that it offers. Yeah. See, yep. look at that. Uh, I've got another. This is, I believe, you did this one for Archer pipes, correct? You do some uh, pipe stands for for Archer pipes. Can I do some and, for him, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, uh, so we're just showing off. I, I've got some of your work here. I got a pipe from uh, Mr. Archer, and it's fantastic, and I love it. Got a great pipe stand with it, and then thank you. I got the pipes for and pal football league make, uh, tray make and, for Nate King. Oh, very nice. Hold, hold that I up did. again, Stacy. Yep. See how nice that is? That is very nice. And this is one of the ones what? that I kept because it was a car, like it wasn't up to my standards to, to sell to someone, so Yeah. But the thing that I like is the finish on the leather. Um is that something that uh uh you you've developed a technique for uh finishing and, and I don't know, what will you call it, polishing the leather so that it looks so sharp? Well, so the, a lot of what for that leather is that I just, I buy, um, I buy Wicked and Craig. It's out of Pennsylvania. It's a really great leather. I love it. Um, and it's, it, like I said, it's high quality in and of itself, but then finishing the edges, I've certainly honed that a lot, you know, enough products and you just keep doing it. Just like polishing pipe stems. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now, are you still in Canada or are you in the United States now? I'm in Delaware. Okay. Oh, all right. Is that in the United States, Tim? First date, guys. <laughs> uh, Come on now. <laughs> it's like okay. a bowling alley. Yeah. <laughs> Shaped like a bowling alley. <laughs> Same okay, dimensions. So, so now, are you a Canadian citizen or a U.S. citizen? Or do you have Both. dual citizenship? Okay. Dual citizenship, yeah. Yeah. All right. And, uh, well, now that you've lit up your pipe, what are you smoking and what are you smoking it out of? Uh, I'm smoking DLP's Barbary Coast out of a um, a BJV pipe that was my first artisan that I made or had commissioned. Sorry, I didn't make it. He did. All right. Yeah, that's, that's beautiful. beautiful. Nice. Yeah. Gorgeous pipe. Excellent. And how do you I like Barbary Coast? On that. I love it. it. It's so good. I'm on such a like burly kick right now, too, so it helps. 
Okay. And and how do you like the brandy taste to it? Because it's it. got a brandy Love topping it. of it? Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Good. Okay. Because Iron Mike, believe it or not, uh, called me up and said, I, I found this blend I kind of like, Barbary Coast, and I, I'd like for something like that. And I said, okay, I'll whip something. And I, you know, just in a one-handed blending, which is always fun, which is not as bad doing two ounces. But I didn't really like how the brandy tastes because I have a natural, um, I don't know, what's that word? Oh, gag reflex. I, I can't. Brand um I, I you know you know people That's have that one. where you got really <laughs> sick the first time you ever got really drunk and that was and brandy was the villain in my particular story so i oh, went yeah. and picked up a bottle of cognac to uh to try to make that for him because i just it's like i i can't send this out because i can't even stand to be in the room with it you know and i don't think setting it on fire makes it better so We'll try cognac and see. You ever how that drink goes. a? You ever drink a share a fifth of uh, anisette with somebody? Mmm. Mmm. That'll no. that'll set you on edge. Mmm. <laughs> mm. mm. and, and I know for a while in the football league you were posting great pictures of the. I think you had a part time job at the liquor store, which mm -hmm. looked, you know, just like oh I'd uh, I'd be broken and, and drunk all the time if I worked at a place like that. Right. Yeah, hmm. yeah. Thankfully, they well, thankfully they let me go when I got COVID from the manager. They just stopped calling me in for shifts, so I was like, okay, cool. Oh, excellent. Well, it's well, excellent. So you me went... from spending money I didn't have. So <laughs> go <laughs> right. team. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nonprofit you know? to, to a liquor store that lets you go because you got sick on the job, and and you know, stick with leatherworking. You're awesome at it. So well, thank you. What are some of the things that are coming up on the horizon for you? What, what, you know, beyond the pipe world, what, what are you working on? Oh, beyond the pipe world. I, I'm just trying to get a day job right now to like, to get me the, the prettier, shinier laser engravers and, and upgrade my shop a bit. Okay. So what is your yeah. background in if you're looking for a job? So if anyone is in Delaware that's listening to the yeah, podcast. Yeah, we have, we have 300 subscribers. There's gotta yeah. be one in there. But it's gotta be somebody yeah. from Delaware, you know? What 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 is your background? What did you do? Um, project management. Okay, and you're yeah. a project manager for a nonprofit. Yep, got my right. my certification and all of that jazz. So, all right, all right. I know my and stuff. What now? Like construction type projects or just? Uh, yeah, we did some construction. We did some, um, you know, fundraising. You know, market data for. Um, mm -hmm events and stuff like that you know my goal was to try to or my job was to try to make history interesting for everybody so that this nonprofit historic site wouldn't go under so that was kind of great project so this is this happens all right all right yeah. now it, it, how long does it if somebody calls you up and says i want x how mm -hmm. long does it cr take you to create this gorgeous leather work that you do uh, it honestly depends on on the design um and what my backlog is. It's like I came out of Mule Town and had an order for 75 pipe bags to do like <laughs> in like two, three weeks. So um, that kind of put everything else on the back burner and I'm trying to catch up on other commissions. But I think my wait list right now is about six months, um, depending on how simple it is. If it's something that I have uh, like a die cut for, it's easy enough to just quickly pop that out. Like, the pipe rests now I have a die cut for and so that takes me like mm -hmm, half an hour okay so, I, yeah. and it was it, it's been fascinating to watch your journey on Instagram because I saw that you did some elegant stitching on a project you know how do you learn I mean walk me through how you learned to do this you know how but where did this come from because you know I've I've done a little bit of leather work and I, I stitch like oh look that looks like a lightning bolt it's not what all what i was trying to do but cool let's say let's say frankenstein's head <laughs> yeah it's like oh <laughs> did you try staples jim no i didn't try staples. uh i learned from youtube and like i said like i had a mentor so if i was really borking something like i just would go look this is what happened what did i do wrong what can i try um, and then as I, you know, got a little bit more established in the leatherworking community, it's very similar to the pipe working or pipe making or pipe smoking. My gosh. Um, 
pipe smoking community where everybody's really kind and like, you know, willing to give some advice. Like, yeah, you, you're burning your rim because you're filling your pipe too much, you dumbass. Like, so I was able to ask some other friends in the, the leather working community for some advice and, you know, ask them if they tried something that I had an idea for before I go and muck it up. And yeah. All right. See, the thing that I like, I'm just looking at uh, oh, here like this. So, you know, you can turn out, I don't know if you can see this, mm -hmm. but um, like these, um, with the hex shaped um, pipe trays with the logo, you know, pipe clubs, I would think that'd be a great thing for pipe clubs, you know? Um, yeah, I agree. Now, is that something that you, like, you got to die to to cut the, the blanks <laughs> out and then we have multiple presses where you can um, do a bunch so at a time kind of thing or? That's um that's a process called wet molding. So what I'll do is I will um put the leather into hot water and then put it into a wooden mold that's like three pieces to help shape it. Then I cut it out, sand it, finish the edges and throw it under the laser engraver to do the the logo. Okay. And for one, what's that process take? Is that like three days kind of it's wait time and dry time and everything, right? Um I'm about 16 hours. I, I've got it down pretty quickly where I know when I can take it out of the mold. Um, and then, you know, like maybe while it's drying, I put it under the laser engraver and skip the finishing stuff. Because if I finish it while it's still wet, it will kind of go lumpy on me. So. Uh huh. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. So, and, and you said before your uh, backlog is about six months now. About that. Yeah. Some? Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. No. Yeah. If you've got a six month backlog, that's incredible. Well, wow. I mean, so, <laughs> it, yeah, I, yeah, I'm actually, I'm pretty proud of that. Um, I'm thankful I'm, and just surprised that that's where I'm at. Well, I'm, I'm incredibly proud of you and I'm not involved in this in any way, shape or form. I mean, that's, that's remarkable. I that's mean, I think that's, yeah. that's an incredible testament to your work because I've never heard anyone say anything other than just flowery praise of your work and that's fantastic and oh, this wow. is obviously a result of of all the effort you put into this so well done well done yeah so and then stacy you say you're going to go next to columbus yeah yeah i unfortunately can't do chicago um but i i'm going to be doing columbus and then i believe that we're doing um richmond as well okay. if if they hold it i hope they do okay that's the all richmond right. virginia yeah, yeah, okay. the corpse one. It's their fortieth no. anniversary, so I think they should be, but I don't know. They canceled the last one, so. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, All we'll right. see you in Columbus. Yeah. Uh, I'll right. be there for that. I am desperately trying to get there. Um, I'm just waiting to see what my work commitments look like for the next six months. So. Yeah, that's fair. <sighs> Me too. <laughs> The, this this whole work commitment bullshit thing is just killing my my creative time. So, I understand. I actually no. started doing this because my my day job was so stressful that I just needed I needed a creative outlet and something to do with my hands that you know I wouldn't end up punching somebody or something like that. But, yeah, yeah, you just can't go out and shop beat at the house. Sorry, your shops at home. Yeah, Where yeah, it's live? my basement. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you just can't go out and beat homeless yeah. people. I mean, as much fun as it would be, you know. Be I was more kinda... thinking my bosses, but that you know. <laughs> you know, there's there's uh, there's two ways to say that, Jim. You know, <laughs> the one is you can't beat homeless people. The other one is, you know, you can't beat homeless people. So there's <laughs> yeah. So it could you know goes a couple ways. It's not yeah. what you say, but how you say it. That's right. Well, you know, and, and, and <laughs> well said. Yeah. Yeah, but, and Tim and I are frequently misinterpreted. You know, that's why we oh, liberally use I was going to say, I, mm. if there's one thing that I hear most often, it's it's not what you said, it's how you said it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I that conversation with a lot time. of my team. Guys, you can't say that. <laughs> say it like this. <laughs> yeah, you can't start off a, media, a meeting going, you fucking idiots. I should beat you with hammers. Right. No, that's not. There are the ways... last meeting. It's in the minutes. <laughs> no, yeah. it starts with, now who would love a love tap? <laughs> yeah. Guys, here are some ways to improve your performance. So, so that right. you can continue to come visit your job. 
Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like the uh, the beatings will continue until morale improves. <laughs> well, that's right. You know, that's management 101. That's it's you know. <laughs> well, I was so good at it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Um, you guys were asking what other stuff I do, and this is one of the things that um, I really tried to debut at Mule Town is I do different layer covers. So this one's for the the Jeeps or however you pronounce it. Yep. But that yeah, that is excellent. Now is that stitched Ooh. or molded? Uh, it is stitched, and then I've just used it so much that like like I try to have a lighter on hand of what I'm. Um, like making the product for so that way I can put it on and just like really push it around. Um, so yeah, that, that was, can you hold that up just a little closer to the camera? Yeah. Especially the stitching. I like that's, that's cool. Look at that. Uh Uh-huh. That's nice. Look at that. Look at it. She's just killing it. Very nice. Jeez. Man. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, that was the one thing I made was a, so it would hold my lighter and tamper. Because I hate yeah. when they clank in my pocket, you know, right, just you're, yeah. you're walking around, you know, like a homeless guy carrying pots and pans. And that, it, I, one of the things that I debuted at uh, Mule Town was these um, uh, pipe cleaner holders. I made sure that like on the front I had a little pocket for your um, like a Bic lighter. Mm-hmm. Um, and I kind of want to make it so that I can. I want to play with it so I can try to get a Zippo lighter in there or have one for, um, you know, Corona old boy. Um, but they were like, they're, they're great. They, they sold really well. And you can also like put your tamper in with the, um, the pipe cleaners as well. And it works. It's great. I love them. Excellent. Was this your first time at the uh, mule town or have you, have you gone before? I was there last year as well. Yeah. I think you and I were just like ships passing in the night. Like, I know. I know. Well, I had my two drunk brothers with me, so I had to watch the table and give everything away. Yeah, that, and I did that. the driving. Yeah, <laughs> these guys. Some people's kids. What you, uh, <laughs> so what do you think of that show? I really like it. I'm I'm interested to see how they're able to grow it, because I think this year they were at their peak capacity for what they can do inside the building. Um, cause I talked to Pete a few weeks prior to, and he's like, yeah, we've got this wait list and we're trying to like shove as many people, like not, he didn't say shove, but like try to fit as many people in as we can. Um, so I like the, the community atmosphere. I like that it's, you know, you can smoke on the floor. And so as vendors, we can also smoke while we're manning the table. Um, I like that it has a bar on hand. Their coffee is great. They do a great job with the food trucks. I haven't been to another yeah. one, so I don't have anything to compare it against, but I really enjoy it. Um, my wife is not a pipe smoker at all, at all, and she enjoys going. Like, so. Well, I, did I, I think understand it's just you a... to say they had coffee there? Yeah, they did. Really? Yeah. Yeah, Tim. Huh. Tim missed that. Delicious you know, coffee. You, you... <laughs> like when you're going back towards where the bar is, they had that big billboard, like that whiteboard sign that said like honor yeah. system. I thought it was for a raffle, but like. On Sunday, it was like I went up to it and it was coffee and water, and it was from the Mule Town Roasters or something, and it was amazing coffee. Really no kidding, good. huh? Yeah. huh. That, that would have come in handy. <laughs> oh, and it did. It did. <laughs> we we tried to film an episode, episode thirty one from the Mule Town show, uh, mm-hmm. and and the demon of sobriety was slayed by Tim and our guest Reed Robertson. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that demon was slave for us too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Did yeah, you, did you I, try the brew, the brewery across the street? I didn't get a chance to. Um, I wanted to, but I was sharing um, an Airbnb Verbo thing with the guys from Pipe Sports and Pals and Kirk Keener, and so oh, yeah. we went back after um, like staying till like midnight or whatever at Briarworks, and then uh, Nate gave us a five finger death punch of benchmark bourbon. So like. We're like, yeah, sure, pour us some. It's your bottle. And he's like, five fingers. I'm like, huh. I was just tipsy enough to think it was a good idea to drink it. And yeah, Saturday was awful. Okay. <laughs> In a good kind it, of way. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. If if you died and were oh, cremated, you, you would have... Yeah. <laughs> if you were died and cremated, you would have burned for four days. One of those kind of things. Yeah. We, <laughs> or I would have gone up pretty darn quickly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh man! Well, there you well, go. Good for you. Excellent. Excellent. You know, and, it's not something you, know, you do every day. You know. You know. No, and, it's not. It's not. And, and it was a lot should, of fun. 
And at some point, we should talk about Captain Kirk's YouTube channel at some point. And, yeah. Because he was also part of the Football League. Yeah. Yeah, he's a channel to watch for sure. He's got some cool stuff that's going to be coming up on the horizon. And, yeah. Um, you know, the guys at Pipes, Pours, and Pals just started a Discord server. Um, and they have me as one of their mods. So their their title for me is Mod Boss. Well, you'll have to send me a link for that because I have no idea how Discord works in any way, shape, or form. I and you. I go on it about once every six weeks. Jim, you have 900 notifications, and I have no idea what they mean, and I have no idea how to look at them. And... <laughs> ah, cool. That's fair. You know, oh, Jim, there are 78 messages in this chat group since the last time you were here. Oh, sweet. Yeah, yeah, it can be overwhelming. Yeah, yeah a little bit. Yeah, I got, I got an invitation from Nate to accept, a, well, I don't know, whatever, and I accepted it. And um, I get this continual stream popping up of mm. conversations. Um, and, um, I, I'm, I'm thinking, what do, what do you people do with your lives? You're in front of this uh, discord all the time. I mean, it's, uh, you know, instead of going to the water cooler to talk, you go on your phone and talk to people you actually like. Yeah. Uh, my problem is, is I get in and I talk to people and then they end up not liking me. So that's why I stay away. It's not what What's you say Abraham about Lincoln? how. That's, that's right. That's right. Well, we lost Jim. No, no, I'm Jim. checking. I am checking late entries into our 300 pipe contest mm. giveaway. And um, I'm not sure we what to more? make. We got another one, but I have no idea. Um, I, I, I'm going to read it to you. It's from Napalm Barbecue. And it goes, Uga. Starting out good. It's starting out good. Uga, 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 Chacom. Yeah, I'm with you. I have no idea. I, I'm not following that one. Uh, uh, you know, Napalm Barbecue, we appreciate you listening to the show. And there are ways to get help. And if you'd like, we can send you an 800 number. Or I don't, I don't know what Uga, Uga, <laughs> Uga means. But... Uh, it, <laughs> If it was, you know, I don't know what autocorrect could have tried to correct that from. I'm mm -hmm. hoping that it was an autocorrect. If it was an autocorrect, then it's hilarious. And, you know, that, that would be a prize winner. But I, I, at this point, I'm I'm shocked into submission. So, <laughs> Yeah. yeah I was like in Discord, I think yesterday somebody was talking about taking their dog dock jumping and their autocorrect changed it to something that was not dock jumping. I was like... I... <laughs> Cake. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> that, that is one nervous dog, kids. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> oh, excellent, excellent, excellent. So, uh, are you? Do you have any plans to go to the Vegas show? Too far away? Um. That depends on dog sitters because we have three dogs and one of them, we can't even get a leash on her or a collar. She's, um, all of them are rescues and this one was pretty badly abused. So, uh, we can't take her to a boarding or anything like that. So it depends on if we can find somebody. The hope is yes. It, it is definitely on our radar. Um, cause I wanted to do one of the bigger shows this year. Um, so. Okay. And Hopefully. what type of dog is this? That's uh... Uh, it's a beagle. Ah, okay. yeah. Uh, and what is it? <laughs> Snoopy? Yeah, than Snoopy. Oh, doesn't right. have the red baron stuff though. It's a little disappointing. Yeah. All right. And what are the other two dogs? Uh, I have Tim another and beagle and uh, and a pomeranian. All right. So you have yeah. two regular sized dog and emergency backup dog. So that's yeah, good. Yeah, exactly that. Yeah. Your yeah. spare tire. Excellent. Uh, <laughs> Tim's dog, Buddy. Okay. Um, there Wait, it is. Can you move it a little bit? Center oh, yeah, that's my bumper. Dog. I was going to say, that looks like my dog. It is it my is dog. It is your dog. It is mm -hmm. your dog. That's yeah. the one that has the, the fear issues that we can't put a collar on her. Ah, uh, okay. And that's... Oh, look at that bumper. Look at those oh. eyes. That's that's Buddy, isn't it? That's your, yeah, that's your Buddy. Dog? Yeah, yeah, look yeah, at him. Buddy. Hey, buddy. hey, Dad, there was a package for you. I took it out in the backyard and ate it. Hope you don't mind. <laughs> I know. 
I know. <laughs> we yeah. give ours like, our leftover yeah. Amazon boxes just to play with. Don't need to buy toys. Just give them boxes. They're like cats. Yeah, exactly. You know, I, he, uh, cool. he he took a uh, took a book off the uh, that I got from Amazon. It's about this thick. It's a book on Stalin, and he ate half of it. And I'm thinking, you communist, you little communist dog. <laughs> He just ate the part that he thought you should know already. Come on, Dad. <laughs> exactly. Uh, yeah. Exactly. You know, Cooper, I, I have a Jack Russell poodle mix, uh, and Cooper has trained my wife and son so well that to eat dinner at night, he has to have Mom cook for him. And Mom cooks for him all the time anyway. Uh, and then Alex do a floor show with all the toys he has, like little Muppets. So it's hilarious. He goes... Uh, and he'll go down and get my son to come up and do the floor show so that he can eat. And he has to pretend like the Muppets are going to eat his food. That's amazing. And, and wow. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like, and I, I, when I was taking him for a walk this morning. I said, Coop, you better hope they outlive me because if they die before I do, if there's no floor show. You might starve right. to death. The dog, <laughs> your dog eat the food that's in the bowl. That's how this works. Work with me. <laughs> Just a little bit. Dang. Yeah, my, yeah. my dogs don't see it, seem so spoiled now. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I mean, and okay. because... They get everybody trained, you know. Right. Yeah. Tomorrow, yeah. But they get you They get you trained. Do you, do you have parkas for your dog living in Delaware? Because we have a parker... Uh, 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 because I live in Colorado, I have a parka for Cooper. Yeah, yeah and we it, had one for Boomer, um, the beagle, what we can actually put a collar on because he gets cold pretty quickly and starts shaking. So when we go for walks in the winter, we put a collar or a coat on him. All right. See, there you go. That's yeah. it's universal. Yeah. yeah. Cooper really doesn't like it when the snow gets taller than he does, which has happened three times since we've been here. He's like, oh, Dad, look, at it. it's 12 inches of snow. Yeah, I'm not going out. Yeah. I'm sitting this one out. hate dead. wet in any form. It's, it's, it's raining. He's like, no, I'm going to hold it. I'm going to see if it stops before we go to bed. There you go. And I can always pee on the rug. He actually doesn't. <laughs> you know? He holds it, and then he pees for like 10 minutes. All right. Well, all right. That's okay. good. See? There yeah. you go. Yeah. A well-trained dog. How do you yeah. do that? No yeah. idea. Coop, Coop, yeah. Coop doesn't mind the, the rain nearly as much, but he's he's not a, a snow dog. He is not, Dad, let's go out and pull the sled. No, that's right. something Cooper's never said. Yeah. <laughs> that's fair, yeah. <laughs> I used to find that loved it and just would roll around in it and just like jump like little rabbits and bury yeah. their faces. But these guys, not at all. They're like, what is this garbage? <laughs> hey, look, it looks like a good day to be on the couch. You know? <laughs> right? Yeah. Can you turn the fire on? Can you just sit by that? That'd be great. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. So, excellent. Well, we absolutely love your work. Huh. And I've, Thank I've, you. like I said, I've got a couple of pieces and, and I, I can vouch for the quality of your work. It is exceptional. And the laser engraving is just killer. So, and everything mm -hmm. I've got from me is laser engraved. Oh, last question. Where'd you come up with your logo? Uh, in all honesty, Wix helped me with it. Um, I love um, Scandinavian stuff. Um, like I'm, you know, wearing um, cross pipes shirt here. I, I've got like earrings that have that. I just love the lore. Um, and I threw into Wix and like, th give me something, you know, uh, ancient Nordic, Celtic, and that's that's what happened. So, all right, yeah, I like cool that radio. Celtic knot. It's really a Celtic knot's cool. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I want yeah. something that was a little bit different too than other leather workers. That you know, everyone's got like the needles or whatnot, and I want something that shows people that you know you can tap into your history, your past. Like, you know, I've got the old hobbies, like, I mean, obviously leatherworking, pipe smoking. I love, you know, drinking things from different countries. Um, but to be able to have something that you can have that expresses who you are in a way that's not like tchotchke or cheap, you know, like, because mm -hmm. there's not a lot of stuff for pipe makers out there. There's certainly not a lot of stuff for like pipe. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That hat. Is that how oh. hard is that to do? Not hard at all. No? Okay. Mm -mm. You have to no. have the, you've got the machinery, obviously, to, to uh, put a, sew a patch onto the, the front oh. panel of a cap. Yeah, those are these. 
It's my hands. Oh, really? You do yeah, that by I hand? Have, oh, yeah, my I gosh. Yeah, I can't stitch that. I need 600 of them tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. Well, uh, <laughs> it's going to be a bit of delay. Oh, Tim, I believe the word you're looking for is disappointed. You're going yeah. to be disappointed, Tim. <laughs> you know, it got lost in the mail. I'm so sorry. I'll, I'll work on getting that to you. Oh. Uh, not only no, but hell no. <laughs> I was looking at this other one here. This was really cool too. I was looking at this. Yeah. I don't know if you could see that. It's mm, hard. The Gandalf thing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. That way. That ended up being it's like um, an, an a arch with the for Gandalf. my for my wife. Oh, very yeah, cool. That's really cool. Did you design that yourself? No, no. Etsy's wonderful. Okay. Yeah, that's isn't that the doorway from Fellowship of the Rings when they go yeah, into the yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. The Mines of Moria. Yeah, see, look yeah. at that. We even threw a little token then, uh, into our show this week. Was that a pipe, pipe bag? Yeah. I, uh, those Pan are little... um, hanging wall racks. Ooh. Yeah, okay. So, uh, you look know, it's that. got a spot for your pipe cleaners and your, um, your lighter. And then I believe that one has for 14 pipes. Okay. Oh, very nice. The quality of that leather is beautiful. Thank you. Oh, yeah, I... Is... Wicked and Craig, I, I absolutely love it, and it's it's high quality without it being like the cordovan shell. That's just crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look at that. How pretty that is. Yeah, yeah. I love their leather so much. And that's the Zippo case that I do too. Oh, and that covers but, the I mean, top you're... too. Yes, sir. Oh, look Here's at that. Yeah, look at that. That's cool. Look at that. Oh yeah. <laughs> And you're able, if somebody sends you a design or a picture, you can just program it into the laser engraver and off you go. Yeah, yeah. I actually had somebody at Mule Town um, who was a Marine that wanted me to engrave. Our Marine or U.S. Navy? Um, anyway, regardless, he, he had me engrave the, the logo for that branch into, um, into a, a tray for him. Um, and I had somebody else that, like, wanted something for their husband for Christmas and he was in the Masons and also had something with tobacco leaves. So she weren't really wanted that. So we, yeah. Whip that okay, up. Here's a better, a better one of the pipe. Uh, yeah. Oh. There wow. you go. It's got pipes in it. Yeah. Yeah. Tim is showing pictures. So if you're not watching on YouTube, he's going to Stacy's Instagram, which is Mahirin, the spoke works. Did I get that better? You got it better. You got it better. I mean, I've had rim. 11 years trying to to get it right. It, it's made up, too, so I can't fault you too much. All right. Well, there you go. Mm -hmm. um, I, I've been butchering it. I'll continue to butcher it because it's Mahurin. Mayhurin. 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 May. It's like May. a smash up of uh, French and Scottish. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, there you go. Well, an interesting combination. Very angry, but you're going to surrender. <laughs> but you know what? We're going to have great drinks And she's not, and she's not paying. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I ain't paying. <laughs> oh, let's see. I'm going to check real quick to see if we have anything new added since the Uga Uga Uga. Which I'm really hoping that's an autocorrect because that could win a prize. That was it could. I, what else could it be? You know. Yeah. Uh, no, I think we're ready. So, Stacy, um, I have sent you all of the entries mm -hmm. uh, as I have sent Tim uh, because some of them had YouTube links, some of them had pictures, um, and you're going to stick around for us and do our 300 subscriber contest. You gonna hang out with us? All yeah, right. Sure. All right. So here we are, and and you notice some of the other shows they stop and play music and do cool stuff in between segments. Yeah. No, that's not us. We don't. You know. We don't have cool stuff. Get your no. own vibe. Yeah, that's right. You know, I mean, yeah. you know, we we spend every episode going. Is this thing on? Hello. <laughs> I know. Yeah. All right. So here were the submissions, um. And I, I'm just going to read them right off. So this is from Lieberman Greg, and these are Instagram uh, that came to us from Instagram. I told my dad I was tired of going around in circles in life, so he nailed my other foot to the floor too. 
Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's yeah. good. A little chuckle. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Piper down. The assignment. The assignment was to make us laugh. I, I smiled. You know, it was, it was okay. It was... I smiled inside. I smiled inside. Okay. Really deep down, um, it looked like. Yeah. Yeah. It was. It was. <laughs> You know, when you get to a certain you, age, Stacy, you can mask your emotions. <laughs> okay, you know so, me so well. Yeah, Piper down fourteen. You guys don't get enough laughs looking at each other. That was hurtful. That was. That was hurtful. <laughs> Just kidding. You know what? Yeah. Okay. All right, you buster. Go on, Piper. Down. Uh, so his joke is a sperm donor, a carpenter, and Julius Caesar walk into a bar. He came, he saw, he conquered. Congrats on 300, gentlemen. Okay. I thought I was for sure going to get you. Uh, I know. I, would, I got the sperm donor. I thought, this is going to be good. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. <laughs> Hammer and pipe. So Sean sent us this one. Both my kids started driving recently, and today my oldest and myself were on the road, and we stopped at a light. I sneezed and farted at the same time and dropped my drink. My oldest, who was in the, who's on the spectrum, laughed so loudly he shit himself too. I had to have him pull over so we could breathe because we were both dying. My back still hurts as of this writing. Getting old is grand. <laughs> that's actually pretty good. <laughs> that's pretty good. That's actually Sean. pretty good. Yeah. That's like... yeah. Yeah. That that's intense laughter there when you shit your pants. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. That is pretty good. I mean my mother not laws given her like she made herself pass out one year laughing so hard. We're like, oh God, next time we make her laugh like this, she's gonna die. <laughs> I know. Don't don't get her going if she's uh, preparing for a colonoscopy. Yeah, I'm not fooling my mother-in-law. <laughs> you say it like it would be a bad thing. I'm not going there. I'm not going All right. there. <laughs> don't, don't worry, don't, don't worry dear. <laughs> you know, just just out of it's the Freudian slip. You know, you're sitting across <laughs> the breakfast table from one another, and you think you intend to say, mm. "Pass me the sugar," and you say, "I'm not going to kill your mother." <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, last time, like the first time that they did this, she had a nosebleed. The second time, she passed out and came to and didn't know who anybody was. And we're like, oh gosh, the next time this escalates, like it's not going to be good news for, for her. Like this is going to be bad. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what, what did not you not say? Because I'm saying, even, tell me, even, please, please tell me. Remember. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even remember. <laughs> How was Christmas? Well, oh, we gave my mother-in-law an aneurysm. Oh, yeah, cool. it's fine. How was yours? <laughs> well, fun. It's the gift that keeps on giving. Yeah. Fun. You so, know, you, you tell her. You tell her when she comes over. To, tell her make sure your mom's got on a diaper. <laughs> this always yeah. ends. This always ends some badly. Head gear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we just got a new couch. Make sure she wears a diaper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look, we put on your mother-in-law's helmet. Now we're ready to tell jokes. All right. Let's party. <laughs> Toby Piper, 365. When you pin important chats to the top of your text messages and your message to your fiancé gets sent to your mom instead. Yeah, now mom knows something she wishes she didn't, and my fiancé is super embarrassed. For PG's sake, I cannot post 85% of the text, but use your imagination after any fiancé and I had a long absence apart. Oh. Oh, baby. Oh. 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 Not oh, baby. a little boy anymore. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, honey, who's that text from? Oh, it's from our son. What does it say? Oh, I can't read this to you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Justin Jones, 437, sent us two YouTube videos, and I'll try to post those in the links um, so that you can check them out. One was from William Knife Man, and the other one was from Senator Collins, which I actually did enjoy the Senator Collins YouTube video uh, because they were talking about there was a uh, an oil tanker disaster, and this had to be from, I think, the 80s. Where the front of the ship just fell right off, and he Ooh. said, "Oh, that's 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 not supposed wow. to happen." Yeah, 
that that yeah. particular ship was this is a rare occurrence. Um, and then Krabby Piper sent us a little JPEG or a little GIF or GIF or however you want to call it of a dog riding in the car with its gums flapping, which was cute because I I like watching dogs just ride around with their heads hanging out the window of a car. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Uh, Bill's son, number one, a buddy of mine went ice fishing the other day. They started drilling a hole, in, and he said drilling a hike in the ice, which I'm going to have to assume is an autocorrect uh, mistake because I assume it's a hole. They can drill a hike. I'm you not are, sure how you do that. You know, we'll, we'll you just let it go. assume it's a hole, Jim. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. In the ice. And they heard a voice say, there are no fish here. So they moved to a different spot and started drilling another hole in the ice. And again, they heard a voice, there are no fish here. So they moved once again and started drilling another hole in the ice. And again, they heard a voice, there are no fish here. So they shouted out, God, is that you? No, this is the ice skating rink manager. We got a laugh out of Stacy on that one. All right. Well played, well played, well played. Well played. Hey. <laughs> uh, uh, Pede Tonaman sent us this one. A guy walks into his therapist's office totally naked and wrapped in saran wrap. The doc says, I can clearly see you're nuts. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I've heard that, that one, one before. Me, that one made yeah. me laugh. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> you know, we're e- we're easy. Like, why is like, it what happened to you know? last week? What? <laughs> <laughs> you know. It's like, you know, I, I, all jokes are always funny. What are you going to do, you know? <laughs> just can't help it. It just is. You know, just and is. I can't even imagine <laughs> wrapping myself in saran wrap. So Bigfoot walked into my office today in saran wrap, and it was terrifying. Uh, Ter- Terry Brewster, uh, a, a, a winner from previous contests and longtime listener and friend of the show. We had him on not too long ago. Me in heaven. God, you're about to get your wings. Me, garlic parmesan or honey barbecue? God, get out. I like that one. <laughs> I, I do too. You're going to get your wings. Ooh, garlic parmesan? Barbecue? <laughs> I, you know, and I can just see Terry wringing his hands going, ooh, garlic parmesan? Right? He's all going, no, out. <laughs> get out. Get out. Get out. This this is this is not for you. Uh, down the street. Have fun. Uh one of my favorite Canadians, Dave Hereniak, sent us this one. And he's got a pictures of uh him holding tobacco and it says, My hands look like this and he's holding uh nightcap, university flake, or like golden slife. And it says, So her hands look like this and it's a credit card reader that says card declined. So Dave is apparently a frequent flyer on the sleeping on the couch program. Mission accomplished. Right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so Rob, Rob Norman sent us this one, and it, I, I absolutely love it. It's a picture of a, a, a sh- an artillery shell, and it says, the dildo of consequences rarely comes lubed. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Look at this. You got like a full belly chuckle out of jam. I really I really like that one, Rob. Well done. And then Andy Eipert sent us pipe smoking. Uh, what my friends think I do, and it's a picture of Sherlock Holmes. What non-pipe smokers think I do, and it's a picture of a nuclear weapon. What my wife thinks I do, and it's, he, it's a picture of someone setting money on fire. I'll what try. I think, yeah. What I think I do, and it's a picture of a man resting comfortably with a beautiful billiard pipe in a chair, enjoying a smoke. And then there's the last one is what I actually do, and there's a picture of a man standing in front of a mailbox waiting. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty accurate, Andy. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, uh, unfortunately, because we posted this a little bit late, we didn't get a ton of responses. And let me check now. If anything else, oh, wait, uh, no, that's Pipes, Force, and Pals. Uh, Stacy laughed at something on there. Uh, we did get uh, an, a video from Eric Holderman 
uh, of him. He was starting to do a review, and he had uh, some uh, the neighbor ladies filming it for him. Uh, and as soon as he started talking, a chainsaw fired up. Like it just, <laughs> <laughs> and he just stopped and went, "Oh man!" And 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 the the ladies filming it are laughing so hard. You see the camera start shaking, and it's like, "Ah, all right, well done." And I'm like, yeah, that, that works for me. Let's see. My life in a nutshell, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna start ah, making. I'm gonna start making a video now. Oh, and here's a chainsaw. <laughs> that's me that's why i'm in a closed room right now otherwise there'd be borking and howling and yeah exactly yeah. so yeah. uh so we get to pick three winners so tim is giving away a pipe i'm going to give away tobacco which will be delayed perhaps significantly um and we'll we'll talk about that and then we have this beautiful chacon pipe from MBSD pipes. It's a bent Dublin, absolutely gorgeous. It's beautiful. It, yeah, it, it's really spectacular. Unsmoked, uh, new old stock, just a fantastic pipe. So let's talk about who we think are our candidates for winning. We have to come up with three. So, Stacy, you're our guest for the episode. Who were your three favorites? Um, I love the wings. Got yep. I got. I gotta say. Um, Piper Downs, I I love a good pun, so I'm here for that, and um, and the one we're you know waiting for the the mail because that's what we do. All right, and you okay. know I can certainly relate with the uh, my my wife thinks I just light it on fire, which I mean I literally do, but still there's a little more to it than that. <laughs> All right, so let me uh, I'll get the magic pencil of love. Because that's what I can reach. Okay, so Piper Down. So Piper Down gets a vote from Stacy. Andy Eipert gets a vote from Stacy. And, and Terry, Terry Brewster. Brewster gets a vote from Stacy. All right, Tim, this is your moment. Um, yeah, let's see. Um, I like the. Um, uh, what is it? Uh, Patty uh, Tonemen, Pay Daddy, Pay Daddy Tonemen or something. I don't know. A guy walks yeah. into his therapist's office. Clearly, I can see your nuts. I, 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 I got a giggle out of that one. Okay. And um, let's see. I got, let's see. Oh, the uh, Rob Norman with the yeah. uh, the missile. Okay. Yeah. So, the 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 dry the, dildo that's a good that, the, dry the dildo, dildo of consequence funny. rarely comes lube <laughs> right They're not always a good thing thank you very much sir <laughs> <sighs> hey god and then um uh let's see oh um hammer and uh hammer and pipe uh both of those guys shit in their car that was funny <laughs> See, I didn't want to choose that one because I'm pretty sure it's real. So <laughs> yeah. I feel bad. Okay, so <laughs> I I I really like uh, my personal favorite was was Rob Norman's. I like that one a lot. And then I also like Toby Piper's. You know, sending a text message to mom that was meant for your fiance. Yeah, I would have preferred that you sent the message because that would have been funnier. And we really don't care. We have a I warning know, logo on it. Um. <laughs> And then let me go back through here. And I, I like Terry's uh, Me in Heaven. So, all right. So, uh, Rob Norman and Terry Brewster got two votes from, from the gallery. Uh, all righty. And then we need to choose between Andy Ibert's Pipe Smoking, uh, Patty Tunneman, Hammer and Pipe, Piper Down, and Toby Piper. And we can argue about this now and defend your position. All right. Well, uh, my argument is there's nothing funnier than somebody shit in their pants. I'm sorry. It's just how it is. <laughs> as long All as right. it's not me. This person <laughs> hasn't had to clean the car afterwards. <laughs> As long as long as it's not me, 
Oh, oh, oh no, no. Tim, Tim's got three kids and a, a small army of grandchildren. What are you up to, like 22 now, Tim? Yeah, yeah something like that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Farm animals. <laughs> I'm up to my eyeballs in it. Now, how many grandkids do you have, seriously? Nine? Is it nine grandkids? Eight. Eight, eight grandkids. Eight. Okay. So, yeah. you know, the, the talk about contraceptives with Tim and his kids was poorly received, apparently. Seems like it, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, Stacy, do you want to defend Piper Down or perhaps um, uh, Andy Eipert? I mean, Andy is like, something that we can always, like, come on. How many times do we joke around with each other? Like, yeah, I'm just sitting here, like, with the Mr. Bean gif, like, we're all looking at our watch, waiting for the mailman to come because we ordered that special release that we probably forgot that we ordered because there's already five new special releases out. Um, and then the Piper Down, I mean, I don't know. I can just imagine how he delivered that because I've talked to the dude. And I am a sucker for a good pun. I, I can't help it. All right. So if you had to pick between one of the two. I gotta go for Piper Down. Okay, so she's going with Piper, and she she reaffirmed her Piper down position. All right, um, and Tim, you you went to hammer and pipe. Um, and, you know, I'm I'm not okay. So between Piper down and hammer and pipe. Um, you two have both made a case for it. Do you want to vote on it now? You want to flip? I was going to say, let's just flip, flip a coin. Let, let's, let's flip the, um, the warning. Okay. And I'll, and I'll do it like I did it the last time. I'll flip it before we pick a side. Okay, so you'll know the response beforehand. So, so you can't vote. No, I'm just joking. No, I'm just joking. Let's... Yeah, uh, the, so... Uh, this will be um, uh, Stacy's pick, Piper down. which was okay. Piper Down, uh, and then yeah. this one will be Hammer Hammer Daddy or whatever. Yeah, okay? Hammer and Pipe, Sean. Yeah, Hammer and Pipe. All right, all, all right. right. So let me flip it in here. Is it going to land on the floor? And it's. Can you? Oh, s- it looks like it's the logo, so it's Piper Down. It's the logo. Hey, there we go. There we go. There. Look at that. Stacy picked a pair of winners. So Terry Brewster. Yeah, Terry Brewster and uh and Rob Norman and Adam at Piper Down. Adam at Piper Down. Y'all won. And I guess we should um So we got now we gotta pick who gets what. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, so we have a, a Papa Bear's pipe. Mm-hmm. Um, and will this be a commission, Tim, or something from the existing? It's going to be a commission. It, it'll nice. be a commission. So, oh. so the winner um, uh, get in touch with me, and uh, you get to pick what you want. And I'll make it for you. All right. So, so we got Rob, Terry, and Adam from Piper Down. Okay. So, how do we assign? You know, we don't think these things through very carefully because, you know, it's no. not just no, how we it's roll. a mess. I mean, you it's can do that randomizer. I did that for some of the, uh, like, when we did the Secret Santa on the Get Pipe server. Okay, so. Here, wait a minute. I got an idea. If you open the door, will your dogs come running in? No. Oh, shoot. Because I was going to say we could assign. Numbers uh, to the each, dog. Numbers to the dogs, and whichever one comes in first, that that. You know what I'm saying? Well, but I know which one would come first. All right. That's not going to work then. No, no, no. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I, I got an idea. Um, Stacy, here, give give a number to um, uh, to each one. Sure. Okay. Jim. I, I already did. Number them. All right. Okay. I did. Both. All right. Don't, 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 don't say what numbers they are. Jim. Okay. All right. And then Stacy, I'm thinking of a number between one and three. Which one is it? Two. Okay. Which one's number two? That would be Terry. Okay. So he'll be what? The first one. He'll, he, I'll take Terry. How about that? 
Okay, so Terry gets All right. a, a PB pipe. Yep. Okay. And then, and then, uh, Stacy, I'm thinking of a number between <laughs> one and three, and it's not two. Which one is it? One. <laughs> okay, so number one is Rob Norman, and so we'll send Rob the Chacon pipe. And then Adam from Piper Down. All right, wait, wait, wait. Stacy, I'm thinking of a number between one and three. It's not one or two. Which one is it? Four. I'm, I'm going to do the new math. <laughs> this is like the Monty Python three. skit where they've got the holy hand grenade. <laughs> you will count to three, not to exceed three. <laughs> do not count to four. <laughs> Pull the pin and count to three. <laughs> Okay, so congratulations to Rob Norman. Um, you guys need to send us your uh, address, uh, Terry. We we both have your address, so it's not an issue. Uh, yeah, I'll reach and, out to Terry, and I'll reach out to uh, Piper Down Adam, and I'll chat with him about what I can make for him. So he's a good dude. Yeah, there you go. Hey, well, speaking of Monty Python, the the one that I liked was uh, it was uh, the professional. Uh, professional arguer and he says so he's being interviewed so it says here you're you're a professional arguer no i'm not <laughs> <laughs> but it says yeah. right here that you that you argue for a living no i don't <laughs> prove it prove it i you know my son and i were talking about monty python <laughs> last night and my favorite monty python skit is the annual twit race you know, where they have the, the upper crust and they have to do things like take a bra off a mannequin and j jump over a block of wood on the ground. And I don't know why that makes me laugh hysterically. But St Stupid stuff. <laughs> it's, it's Monty Python. Come on. Who doesn't love that? All right. Now, Stacy, you have the option to mm -hmm. hang out with us because uh, what we do next is we get we read comments uh, that we get on the show. And then we talk about what's new in Tim's collection, and we talk about what's new in my collection. And I have an exciting new add to my collection. So, cool. And then uh, we just kind of randomly talk about whatever else pops into our head. So, sure. Yeah. I'm not listening, right. but I can happily do it. All right. So we got some comments uh, on, our, on episode 32. Great episodes, guys. Welcome back. Sorry to hear you're hurting, Jim. Hope it's a quick recovery. Thank you, Terry. For, again, Terry's a frequently contrib a frequent contributor to the show. And normally we have an Ask Us Anything segment, but we don't have anybody ask us anything because Garrett, who sent us all the questions on the last episode, Tim, said, my question sounded retarded. Well, we read them. It's fine. You know, you, you wanted to know the yeah. answer to these things, and we did. Don't, yeah, don't, don't worry, be afraid. I, if, it sounded, if it sounded retarded, it was because we read the questions. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, the Grey Wedding Show has the stupid questions from the internet, so... Yeah, exactly. True, you know, it's, true. Uh, it's all right. You know, it's, <laughs> I, I, I didn't think any of them were all that terrible. In fact, I thought, you know, a couple of them were really good. You know, what's your yeah. favorite conjure blend? You know, that's that's a great question. I like yeah, that. it is so, a great I mean, that gets asked all the time. Yeah. And Carter, Carter Hall. Hall is... Yeah, that's the correct... <laughs> man, man, yeah. Yeah. If you're going to smoke a codger blend, get get one that's got that rum, molasses, burly kind of flavor to it. It's spectacular. Yeah, I love it. Uh, the Simple Georgian, great show. Sorry to hear that you're injured. Hope you have a speedy recovery. I'm glad you both, uh, I agree with you both on Muleton Pipe Show for a first time. Glad you enjoyed your vacation, Tim. Awesome job on the giveaway for the military candidates. And I suppose we should talk about that because we have a pipe next week to give away from Pathfinder Pipes, correct? That beautiful pipe yeah, we, we showed well, off. Yeah, actually, we have. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we have. Uh, uh, we have more than that to give away. Uh, we, you know, we have the pipe from. Let's talk about that. Let's do that. Oh, so right. we have, we have a pipe from uh, Pathfinder. He was gracious enough at the um, Mule Town show. Um, this is uh, Austin Bordeaux. Um, it's a uh, partially sandblasted little Ooh. pot. Oh, that's that very nice. nice. Yeah. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah, it's very nice. Very nice pipe. And um, it's got a uh, 
an acrylic uh, white perline stem, and then he's got some contrast on the uh, on the shank there and a little bead. And uh, this this thing is only one ounce, so this wow. is a great little wow. great little pipe. I want to say it's about uh, it's about five inches long, I mm -hmm. think. Yeah, uh, four point seven inches. Four point seven inches. So we have we have this pipe. Uh, we've got some um, some stickers and um, uh, got a uh, little logo sticker from Pathfinder Pipes that'll come with it. Cool. Very and, nice. Um, and uh, I'll be including a pipe. Um, I can uh, bear with me, and I'll 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 get the pipe out of the uh, the secret pipe locker. All right. Secret pipe locker. Yep. I believe it's called a closet everywhere else, but yeah, there he I goes. Mean, He's a, that's I've right. got a secret cleaning closet right over here. Well, it's not a secret anymore. <laughs> so we got a little ants here. Oh, very cool. All the, I like with how the you brushed did the, finish. That's a really neat interior to the stem. That's awesome. I like that. Yeah. And this is a piece of agate on here. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. look at that. So, we've so got, are we uh, going to have two got... winners or the winner gets the whole The winner is going to get the whole package. And Ooh. then there's a uh, an ashtray that um, Craig Hersock made. Ooh. And uh, it's, a, it's a partially live edge. Um, it's got a cork knocker in the center. Very nice. Got a pipe stand, little brass pipe stand on the edge of it. And, uh, and then uh, a, the, the, the winner will have the choice of either of a, of a pen that uh, Craig made. And uh, the winner can have either uh, Morta or Briar in the pen. Now, it'll be uh, his choice, Ooh. Ooh. his or her choice. So is okay. it a fountain so, pen or a roller pen? It's a roller pen. It's a yeah. roller cool, pen. Cool, cool. Very nice, though. Uh, nice, nice weight. Um, just really nice pen. And so uh, it's going to be a, a, a great uh, package. If uh, Jim's hand gets better, uh, we're going to hopefully put some tobacco in there. And um, I know, you know, I've got some from my stash that I can put in there that uh, uh, will uh, round it out. So what we're looking for is uh, uh, we're looking for our listeners to nominate somebody they know. And what would be really cool is if they could do it uh, anonymously. Um, don't don't tell the person that you're nominating them, and but give us a little bit of a bio on the person that you're that you're nominating. And uh, we'd like to have a bunch of these. And uh, so s send it in to us. Um, and and the uh, wanted them to be military, correct? First responder, military. military. Yes, that's right. First right. responder, First responder military. military. Yep. Right. Mm -hmm. and, and you know we're and, not. Uh, Go ahead. Well, the the uh, the aim to this contest is uh, just you know we, to thank people for their service, a person, a special person for their for their service. So, um, so active military nice or just in general having served? No, having served. Gotcha. Be active, be former, okay. retired. You know, yep. I'll I'll throw yep. in a, a pipe rest and and a hectagonal or. Whatever that shape is, um, Trey. Oh, cool. Well, look That's at that. That's very generous of you. Thank you. Yeah, my pleasure. Thank you. All right. All so right. we'll wow, post it's... that contest. It will, we'll do the drawing next week, or do you want to wait two weeks? Let's do it two weeks. Let's wait two weeks. Yeah. Okay, so two weeks. So you got two weeks to Let think about who traction. you want to nominate. Send it to us. We'll, we'll read the nominations on the air, uh, which doesn't really make them anonymous. Um, but will we keep the nominator anonymous? Because I'm not sure what you mean by anonymous. Because uh, it's not much of a contest, and if it's all anonymous, well, we had a submission, and we're not going to tell you anything about it. Uh, well, what anonymous. I was thinking, no, what I was thinking is that we would we would do it do it blind, um, just based on you know the the bio that we get, and then we'll pick. Uh, uh, ah, hell, that's a terrible idea. All right, okay. as you can see, uh, listeners, we do this on the fly. 
you know, another well thought, well executed plan. Well, well thought out, well <laughs> executed. Plan. I can help you guys with this. I am a project manager. <laughs> She's a project manager. Oh, Somebody see, save no, us no, for no, ourselves. Stop, stop, stop right there. Someone asked us what our goals are, what our plans are for the show. What do you mean goals? I'm not right now, goal done. is to give something away. The plan is to give it away to a service <laughs> member. You got your project. I can help you. I'm, I'm at the bottom you. of the uh, Maslow's. I'm at the lower end of the order. I'm more like, stay alive. That's my, that's yeah, my that's goal. My goal. <laughs> yeah. Not fall asleep during the podcast is kind of the stay first thing. Stay out of jail. Yeah. Right. Don't run uh, you know, down the street. Okay, with, yeah. You know, so scotch the anonymous. Scotch the anonymous thing. That's not going to work. Okay. So Just send them to us. Send them to us. You know, uh, you know this was this is a great idea. Absolutely love it. And you know what, Tim? I was just thinking what we should do is just turn over the Pipe and Tobacco podcast to Sarah and Stacy. Sarah from MBSD Pipes, who's her most popular show that we've ever done. And let Stacy, because she has some planning skills. And you and I could just sit it right. out. You know, it's just like, hey, uh, Pipe and Tobacco I mean, continues we'll just, on. I'm just trying to help Stacey's. you guys in the background. We're, just trying to help you in the background. <laughs> we'll just... We'll just enjoy the profits. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. yeah, and this is an extremely highly profitable show. I mean, I know, man, <laughs> and the rich is just rolling in. <laughs> I, I, I did my taxes. Did you sell any digital assets? Well, the only digital asset I own is this podcast, and I don't think it's for oh. sale. No, these are the only digital assets I have <laughs> right here. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, my taxes yeah, from my business were not great either, so I feel you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All so right, so let's, me know. let's get back to our comments for the show. So last week on the show, I had mentioned that I that Justin came up with another excellent idea, and I bought one of those Zippo uh, sealant. You know, the, 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 the problem that I can't get over is I hate the smell of Zippo lighter mm -hmm. fluid. Um. And it, but they work. Oh, uh, so I filled this lighter up. It is now going on two weeks. Still going. Yeah. Yeah. Mine Still lasted going. about a month, and I don't even know how well I filled it. And I use it a lot. Yeah, uh, it, it's kind of remarkable. And he's uh, Richard Bro, who's a good friend of both Tim and I. Uh, great episode. Just wanted to let you know that Zippo makes a butane pipe insert now, and it works very well. Mm -hmm. I've had one for six months and love it. Yeah. Thank you, Richard. I'm getting one of those. Yeah, you can order them yeah, on I'm Amazon one of those. or eBay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'll be looking at that shortly here because that's, mm -hmm. that's cool. Because I, I, I love my Zippo. Yeah. Um, Dan, Dan gave me one. Uh, Dan Reese. It's got his logo on the side of it. And... Uh, I, I made my own uh, Zippo pipe lighter on the drill press. <laughs> I drilled no. down, put a little Whoa. block of wood in the cage. Put a, <laughs> put a little like block a of wood in the cage to idea. keep it from crushing. And then, <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's not real. <laughs> wasn't real sharp. And when Dan gave me that, I'm like, for me, you know, <laughs> finally, I don't cut my fingers on it anymore. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Tim was lighting his pipe. How can you tell? He's bleeding. <laughs> Tim, if you need a lighter cover, I mean, I, I know someone. I know. I know. I, that's the next thing on my list. But I got to wait yeah. six months. So I was small. I can throw you on faster. <laughs> I, when I was, Good. we'll uh, make one for my Zippo. Okay. I was a much younger man. I smoked cigarettes and absolutely yes. loved Zippos. Because they were just cooler. And when you refill a Zippo and put it in your pants pocket, Tim, you know exactly what happens. You get that burning. You get a burn. Yeah. 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 I, I love the clawing frantically at my thigh because my Zippo <laughs> is leaking in my pocket. That's a special look. Jim, are you okay? Not really. Not really at all. I'm going to walk around pantsless for a few minutes because my thigh's on fire. The, you, you quickly shed your pants, you know. <laughs> it's not... You know, it's just that in, in church, it's unsightly. You just don't want to do that there. Yeah. Who's the guy without the pants? Oh, that's your new boss at work. Oh, cool. Is he okay? Probably not. Probably not. Sensitive, like, collections. <laughs> yeah. Here's my collection plate. Here's my ties. My pants. Enjoy the lighter. My pants. 
And by the way, Zippo is about the only lighter that will successfully survive a washer and dryer ride. Can confirm, um, yeah. Mm-hmm. Can't been there, done that. Hey, what's that clanking sound in the dryer? Ooh, could be the Zippo. Not sure. Um, at Noah's house, uh, great episode. Very cool to meet you, Tim. He met you at the Mule Town Pipe Show. Jim, I, know. I look forward to possibly meeting up in Columbus. So you got to meet at Noah. From uh, Noah from Matt Noah's house. Oh yeah, yeah, we hung out. It was great. That's awesome. In fact, he was very he was um, in my neck of the woods uh, a week ago, and um, we weren't able to catch up. But um, we're going to do it. He's only fifty minutes from me. Oh really? Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. excellent. Uh, Yusef Syed, uh, and he is just love the guy. If you haven't watched his YouTube channel, please check it out. You know, we're going to make a list of YouTube channels um, and other podcasts that you need to be listening to just because they're great guys and outstanding. But Yusuf Syed has, it's just one of the more wholesome. So if you need a lift uplift or you're tired of us swearing at the screen, uh, Yusuf Syed has a great YouTube channel. Uh, good morning. Awesome video. Thanks for the chat and sharing. I love the way you said it. Just us guys. Awesome idea with the Zippo fluid. You get stupid drivers out there. Yes. Yes. Uh, by the way, going home from work on Thursday night, seven accidents in a seven-mile stretch of road. Louise. Man. It's like, I, I, I'm sorry, have you been to the, the clinic? Uh-oh. Well, they're letting you know. They're awake. I know. Um, yep. Yeah. Dumbass vaccines are not available here in Colorado, in case you're curious. Uh, you get stupid drivers out here. Problem solved over a beer. Mm. I need to run before I shit in my pants. Have a wonderful weekend. Hilarious autocorrect. Yeah. God bless you both. <laughs> Greetings from South Africa. That was awesome. You know, that's... So I just... But I, I read that, and I'm envisioning somebody at the keyboard typing, like... Oh my God! I gotta shit my I'm gonna shit my pants. Gotta go. <laughs> really, he's just Sean in disguise. He was typing that on the, like in the car with his son. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I really like guys, and I want to see some naked. You know, that was just one of the best autocorrects. I absolutely love that. Yeah. So excellent. Um, a, a previous guest on the show, we had Glenn Tinsky on. And I talked to Glenn after the show, and I said, you know, what's your favorite pipe to make for the Naked Tinskys? He goes, well, I really like to make Lavats. And I'm like, okay, make me a Lavat. And I gave him, you know, I wanted a little larger one uh, because the commute in Denver uh, to go 18 miles from my house to work sometimes takes 35 minutes. Sometimes it takes an hour and 15, and other times it's taken longer. So I like a little bigger pipe so I can enjoy the pipe. So I got my naked tinsky yesterday and i absolutely yeah. love it so I, I asked him what's your favorite part to make you, you love really to like love to it make... huh you love to love it i do love to love it it's just it's hey, a fantastic sh- pipe hey, show us your tinskys pro- show the bottom there it is yep naked tinsky uh, and it's absolutely a phenomenal pipe uh, I took it out on its maiden voyage. It came in yesterday afternoon, took it out this morning. And it's a fabulous smoker. It looks great. Um, the grain on it, and, and I believe this is a Grecian briar, just absolutely love the grain on it. It will darken up spectacular. And, you know, it is in an incredible value, you know, to get a Glentinsky yeah, pipe. Yeah, pretty, pretty um, affordable. Yeah, I mean, it was a hundred and seven dollars shipped to my house. There you go. You know, yeah. How, how cool is yeah, that? Can't beat it. Yeah. I no. know it's a great pipe. Yeah. He's so, asking also if you've noticed on Instagram, he had a request out for folks to send photos of their uh, naked Tinskys uh, colored up after they've smoked them for a while. I have to do that yet. S- send him a picture. Yeah. No. So if you, if you're listening to this and you have a pipe from him. Uh, they come natural, and then they color up as you smoke them. Well, they're not even oiled or um, anything? Send him. Yeah. No, so it's I, just, I'm not sure about that. No, it's just wax, it's just, according to Oh, Glenn. wow. Okay, cool. Yeah. So. And, uh, yeah, send him a picture if you have one that's uh, that's that's colored up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Excellent. So that's what's new at my house. Um, you and I both had a conversation with Andy Corson in the last yeah. 10 or so days. And right. he was talking to me about it. He goes, have you ever made a Burley Latakia blend? And I said, you know, I I don't think I have. Um, and, you know, the, the gray beard isn't just for show kid. I've earned it because I, I don't remember stuff. And I sat down. And I thought, I'm going to work something out. And I was looking at my spreadsheet. And I said, well, I already made two of those. I made a blend called Providence and a, and a blend called Asher's Fork. Uh, both of them, I, uh, Providence uh, is a small city uh, town in Kentucky where my great grandparents are buried. And Asher's Fork was just, I thought it was a cool name. And those are both Burley Latakia blends. And so there you go, Andy. Yeah, I have made them. I thought, well, I'll, I'll see what I can whip up for you. And of course, I'm injured. So, but I did. I was like looking through it and he, and I, I, I always click search to see if I've duplicated something. And it's like, yeah, Jim, you've already made this blend. Here it is. Oh, thank you, XL, for helping me be not quite as stupid as I look. So, <laughs> Well, sp speaking of uh, Andy, uh, he and I spoke mid last week. And uh, he asked for a, uh, a calabash. And I finished his pipe today. And uh, this is it. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's, the top uh, is amazing. Yeah, it's got this, uh, thank you, it's got this uh, leopard wood uh, accent between the cap and the stummel, and then also on the uh, the shank, on the mortise, rather. And uh, this is all uh, bird's eye up here. Came out nice, and he wanted a little bit of rustication, so I don't know if you can tell, but yeah. I, yeah. Uh, stippled that a little bit, gave him some contour or contrast there. And then this is some of Aaron's um, uh, material, the Car Carolina Cumberland. So this will be going out in the mail tomorrow to Andy. Oh, Corson. very nice. Very nice. That is a beautiful yep. pipe. And Andy is a lucky guy. And he, I, I wonder if he's been successful. Did, did you guys talk? He was trying to set up a pipe club in Valdosta, Georgia, which is where I believe Andy's from. That's where and he's I, from. We did not talk about that. All right. Well, Does he we'll go to Smitty's at all? Or? Um, I, I believe Valdusta is kind of a drive from Schmitty's. Gotcha. Um, and because Valdusta is right on the border of Georgia and Florida. And Schmitty's, oh, right. I yeah, believe. Yeah, that is a hike. Yeah. yeah. I set up a pipe club four hours from my house. Right. Mm. Yeah, like you do. <laughs> <laughs> Right. I've set up a pipe just... club in Idaho. Oh, good. I mean, I'm a part of the Indiana Pipe Club, but that's mostly just because I've got a lot of friends there, and well, I'm never going to make a meeting. Yeah, Don't not? make me an officer. Yeah. Do, do, I have to to, do I have to go to meetings? No. Well, I'm a member of the San Diego Pipe Club, and well, you, you know, when when we had. Uh, Bud on, I, it, just fun talking to those guys, you know, it's just, it, it, I mean, seriously, in the pipe community, have you met a bad guy or a bad gal in the pipe community? Met in person? No. I, I mean, even, even, you know, it, do people have differences of opinion? Yeah, but this is kind of one of the calmer communities. It is know? one of the calmer communities, yes. Ah, yeah. Just full of warm and gracious people. Yeah, so, absolutely. Excellent. So, Tim, do you have anything else you'd like to talk about? Did you make any new pipes yeah, this you week? Know, well, okay, so uh, Ben Smith asked me before Mule Town to make him a Dan pipe. Mm -hmm. And I said, what the hell's a Dan pipe? And I went on the inner tube and I found mm -hmm. Dan pipes. And uh, so I started making one, um, and it, this one, the first one, and uh, when I got down to – brass tacks there was a sand pit that went from the heel all the way into the the bowl so mm -hmm. back to square one and so the one that um, uh, Ben has doesn't have a hole in it this one did and uh, so I thought well you know what the hell I'll just throw a stem on this and I'll smoke it myself and I gotta tell you I'm enjoying the hell out of this thing and uh, I'm gonna make a I'm gonna start making a few of these things because they're really, it's this thing's, yeah, it's only, uh, it's an, just about, uh, just a tick over an ounce. And um, it's just very comfortable. I think what I might do is shorten the stem just a little bit, just a tick. It'll give it a little bit more balance. 
and um, I may I may tilt this uh, the shank just a little bit more. But um, I've had uh, I don't know like a dozen bowls out of this, and uh, it doesn't smoke hot. And I don't know, it just it's really um, oh. a new little pocket pocket pipe. So anyway. Mm -hmm. There you go. Dan apparently knew something about pipes, and um, the more uh, you know, it's the Dan pipe. The Dan pipe. Go. Yeah. See, are, are you trying to teach us stuff, Tim? Because we uh, don't know. I wouldn't of, do that. We, we don't, don't listen that to me. We, well, this isn't about learning, Tim, because we're you know. <laughs> don't we're listen to me. Suckers to me. Come on, guys. Yeah, like I know. My grand, like yeah. my grandfather told me, you're about as sharp as the leading edge of a cue ball. Yes, mm -hmm. thank you, Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> those kind of compliments they, they make you so high in life <laughs> they do uh -huh. you know don't worry about my self-esteem i'm fine yeah. <laughs> i'm going out in the grow the garage with some rope and a ladder don't worry about it i'm working on some stuff out here you know <laughs> different back to tears yeah. thanks grandpa yeah, so much. Oh, count okay. on you. yeah exactly <laughs> Oh, Jim, are you an alcoholic? No, no. They go to meetings. I'm a drunk. Completely different. <laughs> I'm an enthusiast. I drink by myself. <laughs> there you go. Oh, That's and <laughs> the highlight of my weekend is Green Spot is now available at Ooh, my Costco. Nice. Oh, nice. Good. Yeah. They'll, they'll, oh, look, honey. Look what fell into the cart when I walked down this aisle. A bottle of Green Spot. Yeah. We didn't. We didn't have green spot. We how the only Irish whiskeys that they have at ours is the Jameson and then the Kirkland Jameson. Oh, huh. um, I, I have a rather large bottle of the Kirkland uh, Irish whiskey. It's good. That's a yeah. Because no. you know, I I needed to clean some brake parts and, sure. and take some yeah, rust yeah, off yeah. some metal. I mean, you know, it does. It works great for that. But no, to me, it tastes like Jameson. Like. You know? Oh, all right. Okay. Uh, well, we just have a, we have a difference of opinion on that one. We I, do, I, and I'm I, right. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I like how she thinks. You want to be a regular on this show? <laughs> yeah. We we need to get Stacy and Horsebone on the same show, and I could just be wrong all day long. The nice thing about it is we just sit back and watch it happen. <laughs> yeah, like my first the... my first meal town, man, we like we met up. Um there were a few of us that like met up beforehand on Friday mid afternoon and we went on a Jim Bean or a Jim Bean? No, Jack Daniels tour. Best way to start the pipe show. Oh, yeah. Totally recommend it. Some of us may or may not have licked the barrels because they were leaking. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to know that I um, I went on a manufacturing tour, and their plant is about 45 minutes from Jack Daniels. So four years in a row, I went to the distillery, and I have the commemorative Ducks Unlimited bottle from 2009, 2010, 2011, 2012 of the single barrel Jack Daniels, nice. which I, I, I do enjoy. And by the way, uh, I'm I'm not a huge fan of Jack Daniels because Either that mind. was my sec. Um, that was my second. Oh my God! I think I'm going to throw up my socks moment in my life. Mm -hmm. uh, but I do like Gentleman Jack, and Honey Jack is pretty good too. But... Honey Jack is good. Um, I like the Sinatra, like the story of the Sinatra blend too, like and how they make it where it's like a like a corrugated uh, oak barrel. Like it's or serrated, I guess, because it looks like a knife, like a bread knife, where it just got all those bumps in it. So some yep. of it's tar, some of it's not. It's neat. Yeah, and I, uh, I actually have uh, charred oak barrel remains because they kind of give those away. Mm -hmm. uh, so for three years, I, 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 <laughs> I put a little Ziploc bag in my pocket and just, oh, here's chunks of Jack, Jack Daniels and. There was a there person, know. was it um, EP Pipes that was next to you, Tim, at Mealtown yeah, that sells uh -huh. like the, the bourbon barrel pipe racks? Right. Right, yeah. Yeah, Richard. Like, yeah, Rich. yeah, yeah, Rich. Yeah. The king of ale eight and bourbon. I I have one right back here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was, he's, mis he's Mr. Bardstown. He is Mr. Yeah. Bardstown. And what is his, the drink that he drinks all the time? I don't know. It's 
Oh, it's yeah. The it's high five or high twelve. High twelve. Yeah, he had it. He had it at the uh, at the show, mm-hmm. and he he shared some with me. Can't remember what, what the label. What basically what it is is it's the uh, uh, the the, uh, the very young um, Bardstown bourbon. Yeah, yeah, and I I really enjoy Bardstown. It's like, it's like a an, like an hour and a half old. Oh, it's very new. <laughs> Just take it right out of the still. Yep. Here you go. Yep, slap your mama. There you go. <laughs> Bo- bottle it up. We're good to go. Trends. Uh, but no, for Irish whiskeys, I have long been a proponent of red breast. I absolutely love it. Um, yeah, I can't beat it. And then I, I believe it was Chris from San Diego Pipe because, oh, you got to try Green Spot. And Green Spot is excellent too. Yeah. And yep. I am not, you know, when you get up over 100 proof, that's not really in my wheelhouse. Oh, it's totally um, mine. Bring it on. Mm. Okay, it's and Stacy has me. to go now. So we'll. <laughs> thanks for being on the show with us, Stacy. Ten high is what uh, what Rich drinks. Ten high. Ten is that what it is? High. Okay, yeah. ten high. Yeah, is it clear? Yeah. Is it clear? No, no, it's got no, some color no, to it. No. And he says it, take, it, it <laughs> tastes great with ale eight. But I feel like he says that oh, about ALA. everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The, Justin and Nate were talking about ale eight. Um, mm-hmm. that that was available at Mule Town. So. Yeah, yeah, because I mean, Rich was giving it out to people, so and I didn't know him, so Nate King went over and got some for me. He's like, "Here, you baby, ask for yourself next time." Uh, we've had I've I've had long conversations with Richard. He's just one of the nicest people you'll ever meet. Hundred percent. Next time you're, next time you're at the show, go meet him, and he's absolutely hilarious and completely politically incorrect because we learn things about Brown Eyed Girl uh, that we didn't know before. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And, and we'll, apparently... let, we'll let Rich tell you. We'll let <laughs> yeah, Rich tell yeah, you. Yeah, I'll, I'll let him tell me because, the next, uh, next, next hangout. If you can imagine, yeah. Jim and I are too embarrassed to, to, to yeah, tell we're you. Not bringing, we are not bringing that one <laughs> so up I'm at all. I'm totally too sober for this conversation is what you're telling me. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah okay, go. great. Cool. Is, well, so know. are we. <laughs> yeah. So, so are we. Perfect. Yeah, so... <laughs> Excellent. All right. Well, uh, as we wrap up the show again, next week's guest, Simon and LCS Breyer. And Stacy, if someone would like to commission work from you, how do they get a hold of you? They can send me um, an email at stacy at makehearandbespokeworks.com or the easiest is to find me on Instagram. Shoot me a message. I'm, I'm pretty um, responsive and we can talk about whatever your dream is. And we can make it happen. I mean, I've got a okay. um, a pipe bag coming up for a client that is to hold one of the Santal um, calabashes that has like the four different bowls in it. So they wanted a, a pipe bag to hold the pipe and then each of the four bowls. So that's it's a fun project. I like like the creativity that involves. Excellent. Nice. Excellent. We will post uh, links to Stacy. Is it okay if we put your email in the notes? Yeah, the please show? do. Please do. We'll put that in the show. We'll put your Instagram handle on there. Are you on Facebook by any chance? I am, yeah. Okay. Uh, same thing. Mayherin mm-hmm. Spokeworks. Did yep. I get that? Am I better now? You're better now. Okay. It's the frazzled hair. You're le- you're loose and fancy free. Uh, you know, uh, yeah. And I've got this really cool new gray stripe that's coming through the middle. You of my know, like... Hair. I really think it's pretty rad. You look like, you look like Bride of Frankenstein. Yeah. Madeline well, Kahn in yeah. Young Frankenstein. Oh, what's uh, going on, skunk boy? I like it. <laughs> My gray yeah. just comes with the skunk temples. It, it just looks frazzled and gross. Well, I have gray in the temple, too. You just can't see it because I'm wearing these very attractive headphones. That's fair. So. Well, I dye mine, so. No, no, no. You know, my wife always, you know, have you thought about, you know, changing your beard color? No, I earned this. Uh, I it, it got gray because of all the things I've had to do. I mean, I've earned mine. Could you... I just don't like that. I've like, I'm not proud of what I had to earn it through. So I want to hide it and pretend that that stuff didn't happen. Could you imagine the, the amount of shit you'd take if you, you dipped either your hair or your beard? Oh, oh no. Oh, God. It's it not, would just yeah. be like, oh. Oh look! Guess who's having a midlife crisis? It's Jim. Yay! I know. Yeah. You oh, remember you the kid, a... the kid on the playground that got his coat pulled up over his head and to get the shit beat out of him? <laughs> that'd be you. That'd be you. That'd be yeah. me. Let's go buy a Corvette while you're at it, and it's fine. Like a nice chunky yeah. gold necklace, you're good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> 
<laughs> with some out of date saying as the oh, yeah. like little uh, emblem, you know. The bomb dot com. Which, you know, yeah. Yeah. Totally. yeah. Oh, Grandpa, but, but you he's, look. He's great. driving a he's driving a, a geo uh you know, <laughs> driving a geo convertible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get a Mazda Miata. Look, there's Bigfoot driving yeah. a Mazda Miata having his midlife crisis. Is that a three cylinder? Yeah, yeah. It'll go zero to sixty in five seconds at a forty five degree incline. So, you know. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Downhill. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> exactly. All right. Well, thank you so much. Next week, Simon from LCS Briars. Stacy, it has been an absolute pleasure to have you on the show. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we me. learned a ton about your work, and we absolutely love it. So keep keep going on, and it's just wonderful that it's taken off for you. So thank you. Congratulations. I, I'm super thankful. All right. Good night, everybody. That's been great. Good night, everybody. Night. All right. There All we right. Go. There what? we go. So now we can have. So we can. Stacy, do you? I can you put my uh, my logo on that? Hundred percent. Yeah. I'll send you. I'll email you my uh, uh, the file a, of it. Uh, JPEG. Yeah. Perfect. JPEG? Yep. That's great. Yep. All right. Outstanding. And then whenever. You don't have to like turn the world upside down. I mean, just, those know, are whenever. super easy. I my biggest so I've got something from Archer Pipes right now. Um I'm trying to like push through some stuff before um Brad Pullman and Jason Patrick kind of get back to me for more pipe bags because those will take a bit, but so I'm trying to push through as much as I can before I get my wholesale orders. Oh, do, did you mention yeah, Jason's yeah. pipe bag? Uh, the ones I, that you'll see at Chicago, yes. Okay, because I, 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 I was like, like, okay, I, I got a pipe bag from him. It's like I don't think that's leather, but cool. All right. No, no, no. But it's you'll, not. You'll, uh, yeah, his new ones. Um, even for like the massive leather. one that he posted on on Instagram, like the twelve inch or whatever, that thing was beast. But yeah, yeah. I make his yeah. and Nate King's and Kevin Foster's right now, and then um, uh, what's his face? Tyler Lane, Tyler Lane. Um, I mean, his he's doing something cool actually. Like, he doesn't want a regular pipe sock, he wants something that people will use afterwards. So, his is more of an envelope style that you can throw the pipe in or whatever you want afterwards. Oh, cool! I like to take Very it to nice. go, yeah, mm. and silver too. So, like, meal time is great, <laughs> like, it's just, yeah, yeah. But well, I'm, I'm trying to do this, like the one-offs that are like quicker, and I mean I've got um, I've got little dies that make that stuff faster, so that's not a problem. Right. Well, what I, what what I'd like to do is um, send you like a dozen caps mm -hmm. to, to put you know the the logo yeah. on on the cap. Happy to. But I got to find the ca find the caps. So and it'd be something that you know over the next couple of months or something like that. I'll sure. find them and then I'll. Let you know, and you get me your address, and I'll put it, put them in, the, and then you can get them done just whenever you can get them done. Okay, yeah, you know? and you can let me know what okay. shape you want and all that jazz, because that was just one that yeah, I fiddled, right. fiddled with, and yeah, I enjoyed. The no, I got to think that through yet. Yeah. So. All right. Excellent. Well, Stacy, again, thank you so much for have have you know coming on with us. It was an absolute blast, and we yeah. hope you get a lot of business from it. So, not that I, you need I, it because you've got a six month backlog. That's incredible. I mean, though, court, <laughs> we did my business finances. <laughs> I need to stop spending and start earning. Yeah. Oh. But I got oh, a lot see, of stuff that increased my efficiency. So, what? Do you know how, how profitable our podcast is? Two years. Yeah. The same for tobacco and pipes for me and yeah. Tim. Yeah. There's, yeah. I don't think there's a, a break even point for, for me ever, but maybe yeah, Tim I mean, could get there someday. Yes. You just um, well when you're growing the you're growing it yeah and um, you know you need stuff to to do that yeah exactly and so yeah I needed a few tools I, I guess to the thing is is yeah and you know and so much of uh, what you would have without the internet and the uh, Instagram and stuff like that what you would have uh, spent on advertising yeah 10 years ago let's say you're not spending today so you're able to spend it on direct costs exactly for materials yeah. and tools and stuff like that so yeah 
I just want leather to stop going up in cost. Like, um, I ordered more leather for Nate King's pipe bags and they had gone up 40 or 50 bucks in like six months. Not even since I last ordered a side. Like it's crazy. Yeah. Have you thought about raising your own leather? You know, having a couple of cows around the house and. I mean, I, <laughs> I had sheep <laughs> at my old job. I'm good. I'm good. I saw what that was. No, thank you. <laughs> Gross. Maybe you could find some rescue cows. <laughs> right. Yeah. And then slaughter them. That's perfect. <laughs> Great. You could, t- you could learn bossy. how to tan your own leather. Because that'll cut down on costs. Oh, oh, my neighbors. <laughs> we would get kicked out of our neighborhood. <laughs> Your wife would you could love it. Put a big it. old barrel in the backyard full of <laughs> full of acid. Gosh, you know. So you guys are trying to make me <laughs> homeless and like and divorced. Thank you very much. You know, uh, you know we're in the pipe community. Lie. That's kind of what we strive lie. for. Yeah, exactly. Right, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Single and mingle ish. No one wants to mingle <laughs> with a tanner. Yeah. <laughs> hey, tanner. <laughs> <laughs> they they call you mule skinner. Yeah. I go by mule skinner. All right. Well, again, <laughs> thank you so much oh God. for being thank on with guys. us, and we'll we'll have you back on here sometime soon. So you, you know, when, when you get guys. running low, yep. we'll have you come back on. Thank you again. Sounds good, and I'll see you guys in Columbus. All right, we'll talk to you later, Stacy. Thank right. you. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. We'll get together. <laughs> Sounds good. All right. Bye, guys. All right. Good night. Good night, everybody. Uh-huh. Good night.